Okay, welcome back to another episode of Ham Radio On The Go. And in today's video, it's an introduction, a buyer's guide, all wrapped up into one, into the 220 megahertz band. Join us. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's get right to the video. 220 megahertz, 222 megahertz, also known as the 1.25 meters, is an underutilized par, uh, portion of the VHF spectrum. Uh, a lot of people uh, gravitate to 2 meters or 440 when they get licensed. I'm a bit of an odd fellow. I got an Olinko DJ280 when I first got licensed and got on to the 220 megahertz band uh, FM portion. And I met a lot of cool uh, friends on the 220 uh, band on a local repeater. So I've always been partial to the 220 megahertz band. And uh, so I decided to do a little bit of a review, an introductory guide, and some of the radios that are available uh, for the 220 megahertz uh, band. Uh, all of these radios are FM analog. Um, that's uh, usually the flavors they come in. Most of these radios, if not all, are coming out of China. Uh, so, the, you know, uh, for many years, Yesu, ICOM, and uh, Kenwood uh, had uh, uh, radios for the 220 megahertz band, especially in the 90s. But that sort of fizzled away in the early 2000s, and there was a little bit of a gap there, a decline in activity. Uh, but with the advent of uh, Chinese radios flooding the market, a lot of them had uh, 220 uh, tri-band, dual-band, or single-band. So let's get uh, to take a look at some of them. I'm going to review, uh, I don't have any of these radios except one, and I'll tell you when I get to it. Uh, so I'm just basically looking them up online and checking them out and just presenting them here for you. I'm not affiliated with any of these distributors, any of these, uh, any of these companies. The, these, uh, this is just strictly my opinion. So let's get right to it. The first one is going to be the Alinko DRCS25T. It's a, it's a 220 standalone FM mobile. 200 channels it operates at 50 watts 20 watts and 10 watt uh, output so you have three selections lcd screen dtmf and it comes in at 259 dollars uh, the next one up is bridgecom bcm uh, 220 mobile 30 watts 250 channels a four watt front firing speaker which is great in the mobile environment and this radio comes in at the most expensive 349 dollars and 99 cents um, let's take a look at the next one. These are, uh, are more inexpensive uh, Chinese radios uh, that are flooding the market. This one is a Radio Oddity QB25 Quad Band FM Mini Mobile. 25 watts. It covers 2 meters, 220, 350 megahertz, and 400 to 480. So it's a tri-band. I don't know really what that 350 to 390 megahertz, I don't know what country that's, uh, that's a good allocation. If you know, comment below. The next one up is a TYT TH9000D. I have this radio, had it for many years. Great radio, strictly 1.25 FM, 45 watts, 200 uh, channels, and it comes in at $139. Like I said, I have this one. I've had it for many years. I've made a lot of simplex contacts with it, a lot of repeater contacts with it. It's a very decent radio. For, uh, my opinion, I owned it and I purchased it with my own funds. All right, let's go to the next one. It's the QYT KT7900D. Very similar to the Radiodity. If not, it's a, it could be an identical clone, just rebadged as a QYT. 25 watts, same output on the uh, three bands, two, uh, two meters, uh, uh, 220, 350 to 400 and 400. So it's actually a quad band, but that 350 to 390 is really uh, not an amateur radio allocation unless uh, I'm missing something there. So again, if you know what the 350 to 390 megahertz band is, comment below. The next one is an HT, the only uh, the uh, the first HT in the review. It's the TYT TH350 Tri-Band HT, 2 meters, 440 and 220 and this one comes in at $69.95. That's a Tri-Band HT, looks like a great buy. All right, and finally the last radio for our review is going to be a Baofeng BF-F8HP Pro. That's a mouthful. But it, uh, it claims to be a UV5R 7th generation. That's hard to believe. 7th generation of the UV5R HT 
comes in at 8 watts, and right there, that's going to be uh, controversial. A lot of these radios that claim to be 8 watts and above, uh, if you put them to a power meter, they're more around 5 to 6 watts. Uh, but keep it in mind, you're going to get at least 5 watts, maybe 6 out of it. Uh, 2 meters, 440 and uh, 220 megahertz. This one is IP54 rated. Uh, so it's got uh, some waterproof uh, rating there. A thousand channels of memory. Also has GPS and has an aviation band, which uh, if you follow this channel, you know I enjoy listening to aviation band. Uh, also has... Uh, NOAA has the NOAA channels and has a USB uh, C charge. And uh, let's see the price on this one. It also comes in around $69. So it's comparable to that uh, TYT TH350. All right, so that's just a quick look. I just went on the internet, took a look around, and just find what's available on the 220. Uh, we have a 220 net. I have a video on the channel of a 220 LED, uh, net on a local uh, club repeater. It's a Long Island Mobile Amateur Radio Club. And we had a net one evening and uh, uh, net control was talking about uh, uh, radios that are available uh, for the 220 megahertz band to get more people involved into 220 local repeater or even simplex. And I said, that's a great idea. So I quickly just did a quick research and these was just some of the radios that I found. So I'm sure there are more. If you find more that are a great deal, um, comment below and tell us about it. Let's get a discussion started on the 220 megahertz band. So comment below, like, and subscribe for future videos of Ham Radio on the go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check the description for the final word. Check the comments for any uh, updates uh, uh, on uh, any other radios that I've missed. Thanks for watching, everyone. 7-3.